honey. Will you pass me the sriracha? I will. I love sriracha. I do too. It's like my favorite. I just got done at Brown's Diner. It was so fun. It was like all regulars, so everyone knew everyone and they were all so nice and welcoming to me. And I had fried catfish because the internet told me to. <laughs> and they've been open since 1927. They're actually like super famous. And it's the first dive bar I've been to on this trip. And it was nice to just have like cheap food and the seat was like crooked so I kept almost falling off and oh yeah totally fun everyone was super super nice <laughs> I even I had the balls to ask if they wanted to like shout out for my video no one wanted to <laughs> oh my god all right well I'm in Nashville I've got a late start to the day I just like was slow moving and indecisive this morning and then I couldn't find any coffee shops to go to so it just kind of put me behind schedule but I'm gonna go explore and then hopefully hear some live music since we are in Athens Greece just kidding I'm in Nashville <laughs> This is the Nashville Parthenon, which is an exact replica of the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. Why they built it, I have no idea. I think it's pretty weird, but it's very cool. It's located in the center of Centennial Park, which is the place in Nashville that you go to take pregnancy photos, graduation photos, senior photos, oh, and your baby's first birthday. their sorority, I asked. I can't believe that just happened! You a crazy mother no, right? kick, you, kick you right back in the water. <laughs> that goose is crazy! That goose just like jumped out of the water at those people. I think he was eating something, but Geese are so scary. Anyways, I'm headed out of Centennial Park. so much like holly and it's sharp and pokey kind of like my personality <laughs> being that i am in nashville tennessee otherwise known as music city and the birthplace of country music it didn't feel right to come here and not go to a proper show now no offense to anyone out there who likes country but it is not the music genre for me However, another genre of music that is quite popular here is bluegrass. And that is why I have found the most famous bluegrass music venue in Nashville. And I am going there right now. In fact, I parked near the venue and then walked 15 minutes to the bank to go get some cash. And now I'm walking back. So I'm a little, my, my mustache is sweating, and I get to look at some gorgeous traffic. Shout out to my friends at Brown's Diner who pointed me in the right direction. This establishment and this show I actually had found this morning, but they reassured me that I was making the right choice. Apparently, 
this guy who's performing. I've never heard of him or his band, but apparently he's got a bunch of Emmys and he's like a big deal and is super talented and blah, blah, blah. So I'm excited. benefit for autism and I knew that going into it but I didn't quite realize that the door fee goes towards the Autism Speaks Foundation and then it's an open bar <laughs> all you can drink so that was kind of cool that you know I thought I was splurging buying a $15 ticket to a show but little did I realize that I got my money's worth, you know. Of course I tipped, don't worry. The mama married her and old man She gon' give him rope Enough to wrap around his throat Mary's the root of mine Every breath I breathe was a sacrifice Stuck in my With the East Texas blue 
It's a new day. I've decided to just lump this all into one, all of the good. My night in Nashville was so fun and short. Just, yeah, short and sweet. And now I'm on an entirely different sort of adventure. I am in Mammoth Caves National Park in Kentucky basically 90 minutes north of Nashville. And bats are my spirit animal, so I'd like to think that caves are my spirit home. <laughs> I'm very excited for today. I'm still wearing yesterday's clothes, so I gotta like change and get ready. Oh, there's a train. I love trains. Well, I'll come back and visit that in a minute. I gotta, I gotta brush my teeth and stuff still. It's so early, oh my goodness. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Well, I've locked my keys in my car. Uh, yeah, um, I made it to the visitor's center and you know, I had some breakfast and I went in and brushed my teeth and I was just hanging out for like an hour because I got here nice and early just in case. And I guess I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I went in, well, I don't, I don't have cell reception out here. So I went in, called my roadside assistants and I said, well, you know, my tour starts in like a half hour. It's a four hour tour. So can you just send someone out after the tour? So yeah, I basically, have nothing on me. I had my like sleeping bag with like my toothbrush and like my deodorant and stuff on me. And then I have this water bottle and my phone. And everything else is in the car. I was getting my GoPro all like set up and ready to take in the caves. You know, I don't have my lenses. I was gonna bring a, like a little fanny pack and I don't have any money so I had to ask this ranger for 50 cents so I could rent a locker because they wouldn't hold on to my, you know, bag. So it's been an interesting morning. Fortunately, I do have my phone so I can still record parts of the tour and take some pictures. The problem is I have no reception out here so if they, for any reason, cannot find the establishment and they can't find me, you know, it's complicated. Also, there's like, literally no phone number to the visitor center so they can't call the visitor center so i mean fortunately i already had breakfast and i have my water bottle so i got what i need at least i'm like dressed and ready to go into the caves so it could be worse <laughs> That's gypsum, the stuff that forms up here. I've been showing you the gypsum flyers and that type of thing. There's gypsum all through this area. This is an upside down whale. It's the only upside down whale in Ripley's, believe it or not, in the country. These are all done with the flame of a candle. They call this the snowball room and the slaves would come and sign their names using 
fire. They would like burn their names and dates into the walls of the caves. It's kind of crazy. And they used to serve lunch down here and they just stopped it three years ago. So there's like picnic tables and bathrooms and stuff. Kind of crazy. Definitely not like the rest of the tour. <laughs> your phone I'm like what is that I'm so well lit for like my selfie <laughs> so the lights aren't working for a little while so we're gonna use our phones hey Johnny <clears throat> got a little problem on Grand Avenue we got two sections complete sections of lights are not on about the creatures in the cave. I want to show you one right here. Well That's a camelback cricket. <clears throat> Look how long he has skin and legs on oh, this little guy. He's still got his eyes. Huh? They'll leave the cave about every, every eight to 10 days in the summer and eat the foliage out there on the surface. In the winter time, they eat algae growth around light fixtures. They make no noise in the cave. Oh, I don't like it. That is so gross. That's disc. I don't. Oh wow. Oh, my glasses are fogging up. My glasses. That was uh, four hours, four miles. We went like, I don't know, a little over 300 feet into the earth. It was incredible at every moment. I wasn't bored for a second. A little strenuous at times, but felt good to work, work my muscles. Was. You are amazing. That's what we wanted. Thank right you. Yeah, I gotta get some information off. Of course, car. yeah. Yay! Thank you. Down in the caves, you're at you know a standard 55 degrees. Felt almost cold at moments. Oh man. Well, interesting day. I am. So grateful how fast and efficient that was. I mean, I gave them a four hour notice. I said, I'm going on this tour, you know, can you swing over after? So here I am back in my car. It's like, it's like it didn't even happen. <laughs> yeah, the caves, so much fun. It was beautiful. I mean, I was, I was in awe the whole time. I mean, this was my face. Like, I was like, I was like, the whole time. I couldn't stop smiling. I was so happy. You'd walk into these huge spaces and you're just in awe of like how high up the ceiling is. 
and like how huge the rocks are like all around you and just how massive these caverns are but then you'd go through these itty bitty spaces where you're like bumping the sides and like it brings on a whole other level of amazement and there were a couple of moments in the tour which by the way my tour guide was phenomenal there were a few moments where he would shut off all the lights and you'd put your hand in front of your face and you could see and it's just like amazing how oh man it was it was great so I did the um, Grand Avenue tour and just for I, I wanted it to be a little bit of a workout and I wanted it to be long so I chose a long strenuous hike they have multiple hikes that are two hours in length and I wouldn't be opposed to in the future doing a f like more than one and picking a few tours or a couple tours to do if I ever did come back and this is, I'm saying this for future Holly just in case I forget but I would I want to do the lantern tour the wild caves tour and the history tour they all sound I mean they, these caves are massive it's the largest I'm sorry the longest cave system in the world so I would totally come back here what what an incredible piece of earth just amazing yeah Okay, 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 so slight game plan has been established in my brain. I'm driving east through Kentucky, just a couple hours. I'm going to be heading towards the Lexington area. I just want to throw out a disclaimer for people who watch all of my videos, and thank you for those of you who do. But I will probably not be posting for a few days. I've got a camping trip that I'm gonna be beginning either tomorrow or the following day. I'm sort of just kind of rolling with what my family wants to do because that is who I'm going with. And I will be doing some filming there, but I just don't anticipate having the time or the capabilities to edit and post. So, and I, I honestly, <clears throat> I don't even know how long I'm going to be there. I think like th two or three days. So, point being, this is goodbye for a short time. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. And I'm just glad that you guys enjoy what I do. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Peace. Take two. Here I go. Don't mind, I'm talking to the camera. I swear I'm not crazy.